Hey, what's up? We're gonna see if Ethereum has a chance to flip Bitcoin, take number one spot and market cap. Ethereum has been on a tear from the start of the year. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any opportunities, trades or giveaways. There's a ton of bullishness around Ethereum, especially with the London hard fork coming up very soon and the merger coming at the end of the year, or even late or early 2022, which will reduce the amount of Ethereum mined, uh, bringing it to three times less up the supply, which will naturally reduce the sell pressure for, for Ethereum and which will help it grow, in my opinion, in terms of price. So we're looking at the ETH BTC chart. And if you haven't, check out my last video where I sold 100 Ethereum for uh, WBTC and I made two Bitcoin profit with the same chart. You don't need to do so many trades, you just need to focus on quality trades and that's what we're going to be doing here. So I also went over why I took this trade and it went from a downtrend to an uptrend. An uptrend consists of higher highs and higher lows. So you can see right here, it was clear for me that I wanted to get into Ethereum. And not only that, you can see that I put a vertical line here and that vertical line actually represents like the day, the start of the year, the open price of the year. So if you bought Ethereum using Bitcoin, so regardless if you, you know, just want to stack Bitcoins or you just want to stack Ethereum, if you're a maxi for whichever side, it doesn't matter. You know, I believe in both. Um, I love this decentralization that Bitcoin offers and I want to double my Bitcoins. That's my goal. So if I'm going to buy Ethereum and sell that Ethereum to make more Bitcoin or use that Ethereum and, you know, the DeFi Uniswap sector to make more Ethereum, whatever it may be, I'm just stacking coins. So let's do that together regardless of your your view. So let's get back to the weekly side. You can see right here, we clearly, you know, broke up into an uptrend here and uh, Ethereum has been kind of blasting off. I think Ethereum moves to the extremes on both sides. As you can see here, previous bull run, um, it just kind of exploded and it does pull back pretty nasty as well. So I wouldn't, you know, throw that off the table right here. We're looking at a weekly support line and resistance line. You can see right here, resistance, 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 used it as support. And we saw a pretty big bounce, probably 100% bounce right here, uh, support and then broke down. And then we are using this as uh, current support right here. So if we break down under this weekly support line right here, I'm expecting this to test the previous higher high. And we're still holding the uply, uh, the weekly, I said uply, the weekly uptrend. Uh, if we do break down this, we don't want to, um, you know, break below this higher high and just break the whole trend, like break the price action, the market structure, sorry, and uh, start trading under that because then I would say, oh, wow, uh, it doesn't look so great anymore. But I'm waiting this out. I, like I said, in my last video, I sold a uh, majority of my position. And if it comes down, down to previous higher high right here and uses this as a support right here, uh, this zone right here, which I, I will highlight. Then I'm a buyer, you know, I'll actually get that rid. So we're going to use the Fib quickly just to see where we could potentially buy. And I'll take that from the higher low to the higher high point. And it's clearly kind of stalled out right here. Uh, and then you can see like the 78.6 is actually right in line with this support line right here. So that would be 0 0.407. Um, pretty low to be honest. And a lot of people probably don't think we could see that. That would be about a 34% drop from the tro from the top. That would be about uh, a 50% drop and which which is very normal so there's two ways i'm gonna play this and i'll share with you guys right now uh i'm waiting to see if so currently this is on a downtrend and you can see that on the weekly it's on an uptrend but on the daily and smaller time frames this is on a downtrend and i'm not gonna perfect this line with me but just Bear with me right now. So if we break this floor right here, the support, then I will look to buy uh, lower definitely. I'll look for uh, uh, some support right here and I'll look for the candlestick variation, some bullishness or whatever, maybe a bullish um, engulfing candle and then I'll buy. 
if it so i'm not gonna buy right here it's too risky i'll wait for something like this to play out uh, and then I'll feel more comfortable buying. So right here, as we mentioned in, a, in in an uptrend, we're looking for higher highs and higher lows. This is a downtrend creating uh, lower lows, lower high, tested the low, lower high, and lower high. This, um, I'm not gonna count that as a low because I'm thinking that we might set up a low right here, but we are clearly making lower highs. Uh, this is more of like a descending triangle as well, which usually break down to the downside. So uh, if it doesn't break down to the downside, I'm looking for a break to the upside. I would be breaking these uh, lower highs right here. We would set up a higher high ourselves, and then I'll wait for some sort of pullback. And if it pulls back into you know the trend line right here, I'm a buyer. That's a big buy for me, or wherever I can buy to catch the move. But if that doesn't happen, then I think we'll come back down. A lot of people will be scared, especially since, you know, so many people are so bullish. And I'm seeing like even institutions, ETH is going to flip Bitcoin, ETH is, you know, blah, 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 blah. I think we'll get a huge shakeout and then um, it to continue to previous higher, uh, to previous higher resistance and price points, and then maybe get the potential to break the uh, all-time high. And you can see that this FIB point is actually in line with the all-time high. And I, 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 I see cryptos always reach their extensions, like they just snap. So this is not out of the question for it to do something like that. And if we did get a buy entry at the previous uh, higher high right here, to all time high would be about 250%. So if you put one Bitcoin in, you'd come out with 2.5 Bitcoins uh, profit. So 3.5 Bitcoins total, uh, which is pretty, you know, I don't want to say uh, very easy, but it's definitely a low risk trade because you're trading your Bitcoin into Ethereum and not just a random altcoin or meme coin or something along those lines. You know, Ethereum is actually very, you know, well valued and used and, um, if you're on the DeFi side, you know that, and NFTs are still blowing up, and the gaming side still blowing up, and majority of that stuff is built on the Ethereum network. So, I'm still, you know, fairly bullish on Ethereum. I sold my position, took my profit, and I'm recalculating to get into another position. Whether it's waiting to buy in here, or whether it's waiting for a breakout and buying, you know, a little bit later, but being in a confirmed, you know, move to the upside. So, also looking at the Bitcoin dominance, which I find is pretty important because when Ethereum is moving up, Bitcoin dominance is moving down. When Bitcoin, uh, the ETH BTC chart, like we were just looking at, is moving down, this is moving up. So we're currently seeing an uptrend on the BTC DOM. Like you can see here that we found support right here. Um, oops, I'm still trying to learn the, the MacBook. So you can see we found support here. We had huge bullish engulfing on the weekly, another one right here. We're putting in a higher low right here. Um, and it looks like we're about to break out this. So I think the next point would be somewhere like here to test this these uh, resistance. Maybe I think if that plays out, Ethereum BTC pair is going to move more downwards toward, towards like my... my uh, you know, ultimate buying area at the 0 .0004, 0 0.04, which I would just take uh, initial entry uh, of what I, I originally did, uh, at least a minimum 100 Ethereum or something like that. So that's my idea on the ETH BTC pair. I still see a huge opportunity on this. This is not finished moving. If we can get something like this, so prior to um, the move right now, you can see in 2016, before the bull run, it actually snapped. It did about 1600%. Uh, and then we retraced back, something like what we're seeing now. Uh, 77%. So it actually re re retraced back. It broke down, as we saw here, higher, uh, lower high, lower high, and then it kind of broke down. I, I'm assuming a lot of people sold their positions, got fearful here, and then it broke out another time, going for that second run, 
giving it about an 1800%. So if we're seeing something similar here, break down and then I move up to the prior highs, uh, count me in in the move, regardless if it you know dumps first or if it pumps, I'm, I'm looking to trade this, especially since uh, you know Ethereum's bay as well. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, working on daily videos. Um, you know, we're heading to Panama and Dubai. So a, a ton of content coming from that from there as well. Uh, a ton of events we're heading to make sure to subscribe like if you guys have any questions leave them below and i'll see you guys tomorrow